Iraq is oil rich, for their country is plagued by poverty, after decades of war, drought and desertification adding more to the disaster, the fact is that the river you say watered the biblical Garden of Eden, is found to be slowly drying up. Drought in the Euphrates River has been a phenomenon with a lot of religious backing. However, when the Bible says, particular things will happen, it doesn't tell if it's due to nature or because of man's politics or industry. They happened, one of Western Asia is most essential and longest rivers is the Euphrates, it originates in Turkey and travels through the southeast mountains and southern foothills of the area before flowing into Syria and Iraq and a variety of vegetation, before emptying into the Persian Gulf. A satellite photo has shocked everyone, even scientists were surprised to see this river drying up so quickly. While this image is from 2021, when the Euphrates River was full, but now look at this picture, it is recorded by Google Earth in 2023. The Euphrates River is almost completely drying up. This is the Anna Tower in Iraq. You can see the Anna Tower has show off completely. It is the measures of the waters in the region, but now it is left without water around it. From this picture, you can tell that the Euphrates River is dying now, soon it will be the river without water. Actually it is not river, it is called Haditha Dam. It's the largest dam on Euphrates rivers in Iraq. And you see if this tower has completely show up and the waters is very little left. They are many peoples are pumping water from the river for their supply. They pump the water to their homes and their agriculture use. We can see the water quality from this river is very bad and this is very unsafe to drink. They will suffer from diarrhea and various kind of diseases if they consume the water. Many reason have completely drying up, in this area was once a fertile area. And farmers can grow various kinds of crops here. Now, it has become a barren desert that is impossible to grow anything.